Welcome back to the mm. show, Dala. I don't understand. <laughs> Welcome back. To did did you miss me? Welcome back to the country, Dala. Did you miss uh, me? Yeah. Welcome back to you the know, country, You know, because I had just been jet-setting um, this entire <laughs> holiday, so, you know, I just got back in it. Um, How so did you survive so in the cold with your bald um, head? So, you know, I'm used to living in like, foreign countries. I'm not so... sure. I know that you like or you enjoy living in foreign countries. How exactly did you survive the cold with your bald head? Darling, I had me some hot chocolate. Okay. Um, some marshmallows. All right. Yes, actually, no, it's much <laughs> I don't to chop this whole holiday. I've not seen Christmas rice. I have a problem with that. So, I have a problem with you. Everywhere and what? all those places, no rice. All right, we, we shall chop turkey. All right, so I want to say shout yeah, out to Ice Prince we that turkey. made sure we were fed. We had a uh, hot dog, hot dog, we had hot dog, we had turkey. That's how we survived that day. So it's okay, <laughs> hot dog, you can be surviving on hot dog. And <laughs> darling, I'm a foreign girl, <laughs> it's, it's uh -uh. ladies and gentlemen. If I hear you talk about hot rice, again. why is that? But I still need hot rice. <laughs> then my biggest heartbreak, I had such a bad heartbreak this morning. Um. I now called Yabola to order food, and Yabola said she did not go. Yes, it's a public holiday, <laughs> darling. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, turn on the lights, extra bright, roll camera, roll sound, and action. Because a legendary show is about to be witnessed, and you should count yourself lucky to be among the few tuned in today. Yes, yes, yes. On that note, we welcome you to the very last edition of Movies Tuesdays for the year 2022 on eSplash, where all we talk about is movies. And I promise you, there will be no dull moments with us here today. Yep. So for the next two hours, we will be serving you the very best movies laced with some out of the norm music from around the world. All your favorites, you know, here and you know for your viewing pleasure and mm -hmm. you can join the conversation of course mm -hmm. on our social media handles we are tvc connect using the popular hashtag e -splash e-splash on, on tvc righty it is your home girl right here it's your girlfriend next door it is the jewel in the crown it is honish it is honey red <laughs> i wake up and i don't know what to wear it's mommy clothes <laughs> Is <laughs> come together. <laughs> yeah, let's go to work. That's how I do it. Wow. And then I survive it. We love it. All right. We love it, child. We're I have introduced again. myself. It's okay. <laughs> because I checked again. I said, ah, ah. I mean, yes, Christmas was just... But you still, it's consistent. okay. Mm -hmm. We still be giving them back to back to back, back to back. All right, all right, all right. It is your girl, Dala, a.k.a. the goddess of skills. Some of you know me as the goddess. Or... la 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 all right, you yeah. know, I'm always the man blessed amongst the women, you know. Um, precious boy on the block, not time to check the clock. All love, no glock. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, they call me J4, Mr. Flays, Big J. I love you too, baby. I, I, I don't know, I was about to say, I, I cook jollof <laughs> fries with no chicken stock. More they go. Avoid wow. me. Who cooked jollof fries without? Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we're feeling pumped. That's why we've got lined up for you today's story, making waves in the entertainment world. And of course, celebrity birthday shout outs. Want to know what happened in the entertainment history today? Well, you can catch that on Rewind also. All right, so we'll then be finding out so who we have got on Where Are They Now? While well, J Paul will be bringing us today's series of social media craziness on all social deal. Yes, still to come on the second half of the show is the True It Off segment, followed by the news recap. We will then be switching things up as we'll be talking about Nollywood movies and series that caught our attention this year with a very special guest joining us. Yes, and not forgetting our usual Tuesday tradition where we'll be sharing with each other the movies and TV shows we recently watched or currently watching on What, what Are You are Watching? You watching? <laughs> Uh, bring me down. Yeah. Wow. Um, shout outs to the exes. Um, and please, who are stressed with all the pyjama, Christmas pyjama pictures online? It was like, I should be wiping all of them cord. Like, yes, I'm happy for you, but don't remind us of our woes. No, so you had a choice, Dala. To? To wear your own pyjamas. With Shucky. With Shucky or okay. alone and just take your photos. Because nobody, I mean nobody, they has said, the right in this life they, to they, put you down. They, because what? Files even helps us out. All the people wearing nice gowns. <laughs> wait on, wait on, wait on. My own is some people were supposed to wear pajamas, Abby. They were wearing sportwear. Sportwear. <laughs> I saw it too. I saw <laughs> it. My own is sure that. What? My own is sure that. If you have one pajamas with somebody, 
this Christmas and you have peppered us. We don't want to hear uh -huh. that something went through. It's not our, we will do our bit. Uh -huh. Yes. Because now we go go bring your pyjama picture of that year and the present pyjama the picture and put it together. The person will be they try to do pyjamas picture with and not find the right size. Pyjama don't they sold out yes, by that yes. time. Size. Mm. Was it the rare or the mammary gland that was No, still? no, it's, it's too bad. Ah, so, because I was wondering who was too big, <laughs> like something was too big that it was out of place that you couldn't just find the size. Look at the size of pyjamas, no day, boys, all right. <laughs> yes, mm. my own day because I'm Muslim Shady Lomo. Hey, 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 hey. What's my business? I don't worry, I'll buy material and so for Dupe. If, if Honey Pot now Slim Shady, where do I fall? Yes, you are falling there. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. All right, uh, so it was nice to see all the love this um, Christmas season. Yeah. And speaking about love to kick off our stories today in the entertainment news, our mommy dada is engaged. Woo! Yes. Congratulations uh, in order for Nollywood actress Omomi Dada as she has come out to announce that she got engaged. The actress shared the engagement news on her Instagram page where she put up a photo of a man whose face was turned away from the camera as well as her stunning ring. She however captioned the post writing and I quote, see what I unboxed, end of quote. Massive congratulations to her. Congratulations. So, so, oh, mommy, I'm so happy dada. For her. Very Definitely. happy for her. Definitely. But then again, I'm saying how you tell yourself that you know what? I do not want social media love. I don't want to expose the person I am dating or I am going to get married to or my husband. But you still feel the need to tell us, babe, this is the good news. So this thing is burning in my mouth and I have to tell you. <laughs> but then you turn the face away from us. What did you gain? No, I would uh, see it. You what? Um, uh, um, mommy Dada is an amazing person. Yeah, that's amazing. right. Amazing. I've known her for years. I have uh, not even met her, yeah, but I, I, I like yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, so um, oh, so the, your view lady is almost cast out the other time she was on yeah, the show yeah, she because they actually saw the ring. That yeah. means it's not because I saw him by the Moyes um comments too and said, Oh, and I knew this is <laughs> some, something, so it's not even recent. Yeah. So she just wanted to tell us if, at the right if, time. If, if there's anything I know about her, is that she knows how to separate her private life from her public life, mm. she's very good at doing that. And mm. I mean, she deserves all the happiness, all yep. the love. Um, it reminds me of a post. Somebody put up something um, and said, comment under this post and thank your helper, tag your helper and thank him. So, Bimbo, my manager, went and wrote, you want make I put down so that they go collect down for my hands. <laughs> <laughs> I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess. So, I guess. Um, <laughs> you, know the, you know this world we are in and this industry. Yeah. It's better I just keep some things private until it's solidified. You know? Even when, even even when, when it's even it is solidified. If I'm dating you, if you are going to, at the end of the day, if you're like you're going to be involved with me, just know already that. <laughs> Please, oh, don't be annoyed though, because <laughs> I'm not going to be. So me, I say it all the time. Anybody you see me with is not the person. <laughs> it's very simple. When you see me with the person, it's not the person. Are you joking? Um, but I don't know. How do we feel about the fact that she didn't show his face? Because my thing now is that that's people, what I'm saying. That's so people what I'm are saying. going to start digging. Yes, right? that is what I'm saying. And uh, it's Online just Nigerians heroes. being Nigerians. <laughs> yes, that's what I'm saying. So if you don't actually want something, want to... you might not even show him. You might just show the ring and say, oh, this is what I... Because I'm like, uh-huh. Hey, some people already, they are looking at the back. They are looking you already at, knowing the, they're, they're, the back of like, the head ah, is folding. I know the person who watches... <laughs> Mm -mm. Did you guys see Oloni's? I, oh, I was about to say, I was about to say, yeah. Oloni um, on Twitter, a major feminist that said that she's never going to get married. Wow. I'm going to grow up and be somebody's daddy's girlfriend and something. We now start doing like this. So. Oh. My only okay shot that, go and follow somebody at your own risk. Follow who no road. No, go, <laughs> go and follow somebody at your own risk. Be doing, oh, is equality and something, something, something. And at the end of the day, you'll be following, you'll be left there. <laughs> and the people who are championing the this thing, they will go. So my own, follow somebody at your risk. Let's go to the next story. <laughs> <laughs> Lupita Inyongo shows off our man. Lupita Inyongo has made our relationship public as the actress is now known to be dating American TV host and actor Salima Masekela. The Black Panther star made the adorable reveal on her Instagram page where she shared a video of this herself and Salima snapping back and forth while changing into different outfits with Iniko's The King's Affirmation chill mix playing on the background. In the caption, Lupita wrote, we just click 
at Salima, hashtag this is my love, hashtag not said. Salima also shared the video writing, hearts are synced, my whole and actual love at Lupita Nyong'o, hashtag outkicks the coverage. Just so you know, there is an old tweet of Salima from 2016 where he tweeted that he was seated behind Lupita Nyong'o's on, Nyogo on a flight and needed help with a good opener to talk to her. He tweeted, anyone comes up with a good opener for me with Lupita Nyogo, send them. Cause I'm really sitting right behind her on this flight. Hashtag stumped. <laughs> Lupita Nyogo has however kept her personal life private as her only confirmed relationship before now was with Somali Canadian musician and poet Kenan who sang Waving Flag. There goes another beautiful black African woman of the Sorry, she was entering your eyes too. Yeah, for this your eyes, we'll go to optician after the show because... You're such a... I mm. can't even say it on, on, on air. <laughs> you, you, it's, 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 tell him I will beat you. I appreciate good things. Just the way I appreciate you. No. You're know. <laughs> you not going to be for everybody and for nobody at the end of the day. I come against it in your life in Jesus' name. Hey, man. What does that even mean? Uh -uh. Hey, man. Well, congratulations to the both of them. Yeah. I saw the video, first of all. The fact that we're both looking so stylish. I was like, okay, that was why I even watched it to begin with. I didn't even know it was like a relationship announcement thing till I saw the hashtags. Um, I like the fact that he shot his shot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's I like, yeah. yeah. Because, I mean, another person would have just sat down and said, oh my God, mega superstar, uh, Lupita, unfolded. But then he was on that, okay, I won't talk to her. I don't know what to say. I really do wonder what he actually said. Like, I wish they would Whatever come out and said, tell us the story. We are all invested in that relationship. We all have shares because he so came what do you online. want now? Since he came us online to ask us, yeah. we helped him. So since you have a stake in yes. it, what now happens? What are you demanding? Is that why? We are demanding that you should walk out, yes. please. Two of you should gather yourselves and. Because I would have thought at some point that perhaps Lupita is not going to get involved with a male. Really? <laughs> yes, because really? You, you know, because I saw some some stuff. Some some time ago uh -huh. that she was really doing stuff with, you know, um, people of other um, well, persuasion. She's an African <laughs> woman at the end of the day. Yes. You know. So yeah. you mean other African women? There are no African no, women who she's, are. She's she's rooted. Who have other genders? <laughs> who are not? Rooted. Who are not female? Male. But wait, where's this guy from? Selima guy. He's South African, is he? The guy who she's with now. His name seems South African. South, South, South African, African. Malik, that, that is, it, that's how it sounds to me. Mm -hmm. So, you don't miss her now, Anavi? I don't miss no her. No problem. So, I think, Jebo, let me advise you. Focus on one. Do you understand? Know and face. As you don't want to focus on one. You are saying? I'm doing Santa I'm, Claus. You and her, you are related, though, so. You say? <laughs> so, you are focusing. So I don't know what is wrong with you. I just prayed for you, but it seems the prayer is not working. Um, you're going to deliverance, isn't Yes, you're going to focus on one. And you already mentioned the one that you want to focus on when you said you were looking for pyjamas. And that one, I will help you. Well, I mean support. I mean support. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Still on the entertainment news, Nick Cannon talks celebrating Christmas with his kids. All right, so I know that a lot of people have been wondering, but Nick Cannon has once again commented on the pressures of splitting his time between his 11 children, this time jokingly comparing himself to jolly old Santa Claus. TMZ caught up with him while he was serving holiday meals as a volunteer at the Los Angeles Mission, and the TV personality revealed that he has no plans on celebrating the holiday with all of his children at once. Instead, he said he'll be traveling to visit each of, their ki each of the kids at their mother's homes, which means that he has no less than five more stops to make. Nick Cannon, however, didn't seem too bothered about the situation though. When asked about how he would be spending Christmas, he said, and I quote, Me and Santa Claus do it together. I have the same vibes as Santa Claus. I'm traveling all over, end of quote. Earlier this month, Nick Cannon said that he sometimes feels guilty about not being able to spend more time with his growing family. Nick Cannon has fathered 11 children with six different women, and he is expecting two more babies, one with Abby De La Rosa and another with Alisa Scott. Oh, no. <laughs> Santa Claus is coming to town. Now, this, yeah. this is my mentor. <laughs> is it not your mentor? It's not my mentor. As because the way you are going, like, like Megan, this. Rodiana, Dupe, like, keep track. Mm, it's, it's OK, it's OK. Hmm? <laughs> Dala is there. You say? <laughs> it couldn't be, then who? 
But to be honest, I mean, he puts himself in this situation, so Actually. he should not even complain. Um, no matter how you like, he has a, a whole football pitch, 11 players. Yep. You know, so um, it's his responsibility to look after them and take care of them and be there for every one of them. But whether you like it or not, it just some people will still suffer um, yeah. lack of attention because yeah, you're going to focus on this one, you're not going to see this one. You can't be everywhere at the same time. And guess what? They are different mothers, so they can't be in the same space at the same time. You know, so uh, I don't, I don't, I don't know if he's saying this for us to have pity for him because mm. I don't have pity. Whatsoever. He's still expecting two more kids, so that's he's not like taking pity. Oh. He's not. He's not. Abby. Uh uh. Drive food giver. Like him, are you joking? He's camo. If any, if funny for doing it, she says we collect. <laughs> you will first of all collect beside me today, because what? Mm. Hey. Honey cannon. Hey, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Honey cannon. I, I have zero patience for nonsense. <laughs> oh my word. What, what do you think of honey? Oh, you already have honey flames, so that's okay. It's not your flames, though. It's not my flames. Ah, it's your flames. Uh -uh. We have lost focus on this show. Sorry about that, guys. Yes, but because <laughs> I don't know these people that they have brought to come out. So pick one. Honey cannon or no, honey I'm, flames? No. Pick one. They have to my choose flames one is now. not his flames. But you're sticking with flames. So that's um, okay. Because uh, flames everywhere. Are you joking? <laughs> flames everywhere. We have hope. It's okay. Remove. These people, they are looking for violence. <laughs> violence you will find <laughs> if you don't find yourself. All right, now that's all we can take on the Instagram News. Yes, I see it. <laughs> all right, it's now time for celebrity birthday shout outs. <laughs> In alphabetical order, today's celebrants are the following people. Bill Goldberg is 56 today. He is an American semi-retired professional wrestler, actor, and former American football player. He is regarded as the inventor of the spear finishing move in wrestling and is credited with popularizing the movie. Uh, the move, I meant to say, he has acted in various films and television shows, including Universal Soldier, The Return, and NCIS Los Angeles. He is also the only man in history to have been the WCW World Heavyweight Champion, WWE World Heavyweight Champion, and WWE Universal Champion. Wow. So, <laughs> you see that move that he always does? Yeah. So I was a wrestling like fanatic when I was growing up. Wow. So as I finished watching it too, and I said, okay, let me go and try it on my senior sister. <laughs> she beat me. <laughs> shoo. Now shoo, she used beat me. <laughs> The way Jepo does not That's where my WWE career is. the way Jepo does not have respect. Like, of all people, you looked around. Said, you bring me what? Shame. And, and what? dishonor. dishonor. All right, moving on. Elizabeth Rodriguez is 42 today. She is an American actress best known for her role as Leda Diaz in the Netflix comedy drama series Orange is the New Black. She has also starred several films and series such as Fear the Walking Dead, uh, Logan, Par, among many others. Yeah, funny yeah. thing is I never have watched that series, Orange Which is the New Black. Which one? Par? Yeah, I haven't watched it. Orange is the New Black. Yeah. Happy All birthday. Right. Happy birthday! Jay Ellis is 41 today. He is an American actor known for his role in the HBO series Insecure. He has also starred in other films and series, some of which includes The Game, Escape Room, Top Gun, Maverick, and mm. others. Happy well, birthday. I actually just started seeing The Game. Oh, wow. The yeah. Game? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I just remember oh. that I saw him in Top Gun, Maverick. Yeah. yeah. Great guy. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. And moving on swiftly, John Amos is 83 today. The American actor is known for his role as James Evans, a senior on the CBS television series Good Times, and for his portrayal of the adult uh, uh, Kunti. Yes, right there <laughs> in the 1977 miniseries Roots. He has also played numerous uh, supporting roles in movies such as The District, uh, The Beast Master, Coming to America, Die Hard 2, Coming to America and others yeah he's been there for a long yep. time long time so, so these are the kind of people that i just remember them as old yeah like with morgan freeman 
I don't remember yes, 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 as a yes, young yes, yes. man. This one, they don't have baby picture. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Happy, birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, 83. That's, wow, it's yeah. huge. Yeah. All right, uh, still on our list today, Salman Khan is 57. He is an award-winning Bollywood actor who, in a, in a film career spanning over 30 years, has starred in numerous Hindi films is cited in the media as one of the most commercially successful actors of Indian cinema. Forbes included him in the listings of the highest paid celebrities in the world. In 2015 and 2018, with him being the highest ranked Indian in the latter year. Mm, happy yeah, birthday to him. Yeah, this is actually him. absolutely major. Um, I think they're doing really good in that side of the... Even if OJ will always say it was known to go and wash, but see what they are doing. <laughs> Honestly, I feel the same way too. <laughs> because why will you throw banana? And the banana will kill like seven people. Why? Wow. Have you not watched Nollywood movies, my darling? <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> and yes, on our list still, Timothy Chalamet is 27 today. He is an award-winning American actor who has starred in films like Call Me By Your Name, Lady Bird, Little Women, Beautiful Boy, Dune, Bones, and all amongst others. Yeah, mm. so I saw him in Dune, and I think his face is just very striking, and then his cheekbones. Ooh! I feel like he should like be a professional model mm. as well, as wow. acting. Is the way you're talking about him? Yeah, do you have cheekbone? It's okay. So let me see. Do you have cheekbone? Happy birthday to you. I like some features. <laughs> I like some features on your face, Sha, but the thing is that as you have become uh, very distinct Hooligan. for everybody. I, 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 don't, okay. I don't appreciate honey that. Flames. That's not a honey, good quality. Honey flames. Uh, honey that flames. is not even attractive at all. Okay? Honey flames. All right, so we're saying happy birthday to every person, every single person. That, this guy's going to annoy me. So I was, going to say, <laughs> I was saying happy birthday to every freaking person. <laughs> yeah, j Paul has that effect on people. <laughs> we're saying happy birthday to everybody celebrating today. We love you. We wish you the very best. Enjoy. All right, let's go straight to the time machine on Rewind where we got a quick history lesson on what happened in the world of entertainment on this very day. Watch, 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 watch this. Let's rewind. On this day, 1964, the Supremes first appear on the Ed Sullivan show singing Come See About Me. And in 1978, the CBS television's premiere of its version of Le Miserable, starring Richard Jordan and Anthony Perkins. Finally, in 2002, still on the stage, Chicago, the best picture 2003, based on John Kanda and Fred Ebb's musical director by Robert Shaw, starring Rene Zellweger, Richard Gere and Catherine Zeta-Jones, was released. And that's it on Rewind. Watch, 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 watch this. All right, all right. I wish, you know, there was a camera that shows behind the scenes of what goes I on. wish not. <laughs> you wish they, not. They would have dragged no, our destiny. I've seen many films, you know. Actually, professes love for me. Eh? You know. The way okay, I'm not in this She just changes. I'm not in this group chat. Baby. You I must be you. in trance. <laughs> because I don't know what else to think. Like, really? I do not even have your time. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's check out where I did now. Let's see who's been keeping Loki and missing in on all the action. We'll be right back. <laughs> it's where day now. Tricia is saving Perry. She is a Nigerian actress and show host who made her acting debut with a role in the movie Rituals, produced by Chief Kenneth Nebue. She came to prominence for a lead role in the 90s movie Samadora and has starred in other movies such as Infidelity, Maniac, Single Girl, Moving Train, Passion of Love, Beyond Pardon, Jungle Justice, Trials, Queen of the Night, and so on. Jesus Christ! Brother, don't you ever think about it when you know that she's always going to look if she goes to you know how my mother died. Oh, you know. You know that my mother died during child life. How long is she going to be calling your mother? This one time winner of the Miss University of Benin and Miss Bendel Expo Crown is the CEO of Bold Faces International Foundation, a foundation that was set up to combat child sex abuse. 
The beautiful and multi-talented actress, however, quit acting in the early 20th century, a few years after she got married, which was in 2009, before she went fully into television presenting on the talk show Bold Faces, a TV inspirational program that features interviews, documentaries on notable personalities in government, corporate entertainment, politics, and the sporting world. Afterwards, she concentrated on celebrating football superstars and even organizes awards to celebrate them. She's happily married with three children. Wondering where she is? Tricia Esegwe Kerry is currently a show host and runs a Bold Faces International Foundation. She's also veered into the manufacturing of organic skin care products. Look at this guy that came all the way after injury, scoring two goals. They've not seen this kind of player before. No, it's just that they have one. It could be another person, like you, brother. I, I don't know how you can talk to other teammates of yours to talk to the government, you understand? To support female football more, at least more attention given to us. Yeah. Now you know where she is now. Pastor Rihanna, right? <laughs> That's me, Nigerian, that wrote this song. Pastor Thames. Yes. Sister Thames. I, I was looking for a song to put on my reel. Uh -uh. And then I just said, ah, this Rihanna, well, it did not match. Because I said, <laughs> you know how? He's no, giving, every, giving Shiloh. Every time hold I me, song, hold me. The only person I think of is OG. I can Why? feel for him. Why? I'm like, don't worry, bro. It's just one child. She can have another one for you. You know? I Child, like... I have still not told us the name yet. If I cut his dad out on the show, please shift. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Social View. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're about to dive into the social media space. Dive, dive, dive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's filled with all the humor and savagery. Humor, humor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can think of, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? We are ready. Yeah, Me, yeah. I'm not ready because what is going on? <laughs> <laughs> Honey, hype woman. Roche, hype body. Yeah, man. <laughs> I like, you know, I like my babes, you know, hyping me. Babes. Right yeah. My babe, actually. I'm so, not that S was that. loud. It must be very silly. <laughs> very, very silly. I don't spoil her. Mm, my babes. I'll try again later. All right, All right let's don't move Don't hype for you again. <laughs> you, are going to, you are going to be bored. You are going you to be by yourself. alone. <laughs> to see yourself. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right, let's do this one. Figo Lawrence on Twitter, he says, Someone stole my charger at the gym. I know if he shouts because everybody get muscle. <laughs> You know one color brush. Yeah. You know, you know one color brush. My brother said good What does it remind me of Jepo yesterday? So <laughs> we went for we, uh, we went for a uh, boxing match, and then when I was doing like somebody was interviewing me, and one guy ran past the camera. Somebody now said, "Guy, not in a boxing match, be this. If you do any, I feel just blow you now." <laughs> like, so please avoid people at the gym that are carrying weights them. because avoid you can go and collect. Mm. Definitely, man. This is me, man. Thank you. I just kissed the charger goodbye. <laughs> 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 All right, next was this. Are you trying to kill me? Says an African parent who fell down after trying to kick you. Yes, they do this. <laughs> just do, do like, we call see, this gaslight? You know, you, you, you know, you, you know the word that is funny. They want to slap you. Then you, you know do like this. You want to beat me. Oh, now beat you are me, blocking take, me. Beat, beat me. Please now, please now. Help us now. Who saw the video of a father and a son that were in the boxing ring? Oh, I did. It was that. online. Ah, who did I send it to? I'll look for it. Are you serious? Father, father was son. beating the boy mercilessly. You know, somebody now wrote that this yeah, man has waited. So you know now because Yankee, you know Yankee are not allowed to. So it's like the boy has been doing anyhow. You now put all of them inside the ring. He beat. <laughs> he beat. But I think the boy was just being respectful because he didn't. You think them. so? There are some fathers <laughs> that are very strong. Yeah. I no, no, no. This boy looked like if he went. Did that alarm you of all your? Or yes. as a boy, uh, yeah. you will beat the hell out, you will see yourself. No, I used to think, you know, as a young boy, young growing boy, you think you have all the power in the world. Mm. There was one time I was thinking I, I, I could beat my father. <laughs> one day they say, let's enter karate, let's go and train. The guy beat me. <laughs> he beat me. That is the day you will know that. You no worry. Yeah, you will know that my mommy will beat me. No. That year, my mom said, I got married before I had to. You're not going to be. I, did that, I said, what brought that conversation into? Ah, you? they have to remind you. <laughs> so I don't have the outside wedlock. <laughs> I. <laughs> wow. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what's next. Um, Nintendo 69. Have you played that game? I played it too. Wow, wow. She says, 
Amadi Amalasto speaking English. And this is how everyone is staring at me. This is me. Like, I don't understand. This is me. If, this... I, sit, if I sit Amala, this is me. Um, can I have um, two wraps of Amala? Um, <laughs> can you have Awaydu? Awaydu. I can't relate. No, no, so I went to... This, this is not me. This is the last time I went to Ibado. So we went to the Amala store to go and buy Amala. It's not even an Amala store. It's Amala. Amala store? <coughs> it's not Amala even a store. Is it called Amala store? That's what they wrote there. Ah. We went to the Amala store. <laughs> okay, okay. Amala, Buka, Buka, yes, Abi yes. Pansin, Abi Amala store. We went to buy Amala. <laughs> so, <laughs> you hook up. I was now speaking my Yoruba there, you know, so Big Brother doesn't look me so stop. It's not such a Yoruba that you spoke here. <laughs> <laughs> I say Fumi beggary. I say when you. Fumi 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 you know, when you are in Rome, you behave like the Romans. But they knew already, so don't worry. <laughs> I swear, they would have sold him there. All right, let's check out this one. What did this guy do? The whole family contributed money to send Musa to Canada. And one week later, he comes back. That is very cold. You will go back. You will go back. Oh. You will nah, go. Now that cold. In fact, let the cold Are you king. joking? Uh-uh. Show on Shereni. Because this, this, is, you, this is, this is Dala. Me, that I won't I don't know why. Dala will now turn what? into... Rough, eh, uh, this is to say, eh, hey, Google kill me. That's the one to kill me before. Because you know, I have See. the money. <laughs> See, <laughs> once you carry me like this, just expect one day you come to my house, I'll be like, kill you, she. I <laughs> don't dry like this for bed. Ordinary oh, fuck, I don't know. Do. I don't know. Eh, inside the studio, they say, you see, every time I'll come, I'll come, I'll come. Hey, you want to kill me? <laughs> so that's why you don't send me to Canada, right? You send me to some Miami, you know, hot springs. We'll send you to Kenya. <laughs> <laughs> Kenya is not a bad place. They're Google. To send you there. Uh, <laughs> All right, so this one says ah, The man that paid my sis to bake a cake for his girlfriend's birthday just called and said we should eat the cake. Hmm. No more. King Kotolish, if point to you before something reached. If this breakfast point, in a mean, national what? cake was a post, <laughs> this would be it. The what actual the, cake. What happened? No um, more. Uh, happened? Maybe she's not doing birthday again. <laughs> But you know, this girl's She's not bed in Now, you know, I, I have a senior seat. When you live with sisters, you see things. So my sister, okay. one day, one guy just came home. He brought a small dog, you know? He brought a dog and he, a puppy. Then he brought cake and he was singing happy birthday from the gate. In my head, I, I know my sister's birthday now. I know my sister's birthday. <laughs> no go loud. Then she give me a shh, shh, shh. So we then receive presents almost every other day and it's not a birthday. I've casted you now. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I won't try it. They left the puppy too behind. I can't even go and drive. Do you know how many dogs what? we had because it was birthday? Supposed birthday. Hey, wait, oh, you now carried. <laughs> Where, how many dogs remain? Come on. Let me not cast her. Caravan <laughs> boy in the building. Ah! <laughs> no, I don't, That's I... why they're bringing dog cake and dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Well, I, don't, I, I don't eat dogs. You, you don't? Know, I don't eat dogs. Oh, I love dogs. You yeah. know, yeah, four, four. I don't eat dogs. <laughs> you have never eaten dogs Actually, before in no. your life. Actually, no. They've tried to make me eat it, but I never ate it. Really? My mind, my God was strong. <laughs> 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 Let's move on. All right, the next one says, if you don't get mouth for your house, no invite us. Which one be one place for three people? Yo, go lady. Eh? na share, mo na share. Na for three of now. Does that actually happen? Yeah, it does. So I tell you what, really, if you don't have mouth in your house, that means when they say ah, there is a party, you know that you are not the one <laughs> sponsoring the party. Mm -hmm. And then you don't even have mouth plus. You know, hey, you know, invited people. That is what we have for now. You just, you don't one get place, the place. Hey, uh, OJ, this one is for your friends, though. Like everybody. Mm, this. this one. Especially if those friends <laughs> get there and then they say, oh, we are looking with pride. We are looking for OJ. <laughs> we are looking for OJ. But do you know that? <laughs> but do you know that? I know somebody that said that when they were small, they were like seven or nine siblings in their house and they used to eat in the same place. So there's a speed you have to use to eat. If eh? you not eat. If you go, God help you that you don't like uh, pepper. Or God help you that you <laughs> cannot eat hot food. Eh? I used to do it, me. I used to hey. do it. So I, 
Every time I cook, all my friends could just find their way, enter my house. I don't know whether they have they know. They smell somewhere. them. They would just come. Mm -hmm. So what I used to do is I make sure that the food is hot and there's pepper. And they cannot eat. So the guy, once he don't carry one spoon, before he chop the one spoon, I don't chop like four. This one must be like the pressure before. <laughs> you know the <laughs> crack, 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 crack. <laughs> So me, I, 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 can't do, I can't even relate with all this. I can't play. Yeah, you are Jabara. A Jabara. Yes. Yeah. So I had a boyfriend yeah. once, and that boyfriend, I'll be eating, and he would just quickly steal my meat. <laughs> so, like, uh, <laughs> ah, no, 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 we have problems. Oh, that one, there's problem there. We have problems. Because even till now, I will eat all my rice. Eat everything before I even touch yes, my Yes, no, meat. that's how it should be. Because that is what I do, too. It's the way they brought us So also. this guy will just quickly... <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, not waiting, I'm not waiting in the same it's place. It's good that it's your ex. No, no, you are eating on your own. Your own, own food. Yeah, it will just... It's good it's your ex because I can't deal with I... that rubbish. <laughs> I will beat him for you. No. In fact, just tell me where. Share me his account number. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> yeah, but Let's, move this one. <laughs> Let's move on. Let's move on to the next story. He said, brrrr, see my car. The guy said, what? No be you, I shared data on Wednesday. <laughs> guy say, nah, me. Guy don't buy a car. Wow. <laughs> okay, so I don't like people like this. Um, I think this thing stems from boarding house. When somebody come and meet you and say, Jay, please can I have milk? Mm -hmm. You will not give the person, mm -hmm. and that they cannot have this one. Mm -hmm. But you will now notice that, like, last week to close, the mm -hmm. person is packing all their things back home. Mm -hmm. Are you serious? You had. Oh, they should do it. Mm -hmm. You had. Why were you begging So me? I went to the boarding house, but really, why would you do this? Oh, Am no, I they do it. No, 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 some people so, are like that. To so, be that's okay. Brutal. So, you are saving your own money to buy a car. You no, come follow me, they chop. You are mine. No, you have to learn the hard way. Yes. You know, so yes. usually I'm a very open guy. And I, I, there's one guy I used to live with that I know the person. Ah! <laughs> so, we used to buy like, you know, bags of water and everything. Put, so, the water don't finish now. You when you enjoy this water, you know, drink. You, when it was time for him, he now went I saw him, he bought his own two bags. And took it to his room. Took it to his room. Yes. So, uh... since then, I had sense. Ah, no, it was like one girl too that I knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like me, this. I even told her to her face like this. I said, so this girl, you just you go and ask her for something. She'll say, you say, she'll say she does not have. She's stingy and she's greedy. She now, what mind do you have? You now come and ask me for something. You that I just asked for something. No, no, no. You come and beg me for something. And you then just... she now had this party she wanted to attend. A medical student, they were having one dinner. And then I said, my friend, I said, she doesn't have anything to wear. And then she has a boyfriend and the boyfriend is messing up. And so she, they want to pepper the boyfriend. That I've always loved oh, wow. stories. So they come say, please help us to help us to add on. I said, I told her, I said, you, you in Bobri, you, you I will not. I said, see, I have, but I will not give you. <laughs> all right, all right. So um, do we have time to take one more? Just let's let's take one, one last story. All right. They can have 10 boyfriends and still make you comfortable like you are the only one. It's a gift Satan gave women. Men. <laughs> Why did you say men. They said it's men. It's men, I had. <laughs> Give men. You see this argument? Men. If we stay here and argue this, this show will not You're finish. You're the same person that said, I like when my babes, okay. so men. All right, ladies and gentlemen, time check. Men. The first half of the show is done. For but men. But still to come, chew <laughs> it off, the entertainment news recap, Nollywood movies and series recap, and what are you watching? So stick around. For it's men. women that you will. For men. It's women. Welcome back, guys, and thank you for staying with us. In case you are just joining, it is Jay Paul in the building, Mr. Flames. Honey Cannon is also here. <laughs> The way her hand went up and went back down. <laughs> Let me try again. It's honey flame. Honey flame. No, it is not your flames now. I don't need to be this thing before you arrive. Wow. Are you uh -uh. Wow. Uh -uh. All right, it's honey flames. Let's be let's play it safe. A sharp flames there, so it's okay. All right, and uh, goddess is in the building as well. All right, so this is the second half of the show, and we are ready to keep you entertained. Right about now, it is time to chew it off. Time for one of us to let us know what is bothering him. Or her, hmm. or me. So this Boy, one is, is a very funny situation that I'm sure you will laugh about. <laughs> so when you're leaving your house, please make a plan. Know where hey. you're going to. <laughs> <laughs> know where you're going to, how you're going to get to where you're going to, who is going to take you back to where you're going <laughs> to, go home. You need to have a plan with your life. Don't... Don't discomfort any other person. So, who, who okay, so, you? Can I add one more thing to that? Add, add, add. Um, please, I know it's the festive season, but please know your drinking limit as well. Exactly. Thank you. Know your drinking limit. So, we went out to... <laughs> me, 
Dala, Giddy Bimbo, my manager, we're just chilling, we went out. So we saw somebody who that's, you know, we've known from outside. We only see what's up, what's up. So she just, ah, she started hanging out with us. Oh, everybody was dancing, dancing, dancing. So as we're leaving the place, we just saw her. Inside our car. <laughs> Inside the car. <laughs> Oh my, that person is watching. The person just crying She'll be right fine. now. So she followed us to the next destination. Mm -hmm. And it was a house party. So we got there. She said, okay, hello, us. We're mm -hmm. just having our fun. I mean, she was having fun too. Just having We're a, little too too, a little too much fun. Yes. <laughs> We're leaving. We did not, because we didn't come with you. We don't know your plan. We just left. The next thing we saw her running to the car <laughs> again. We were already driving out. <laughs> so we're going. <laughs> And it's a very horrible situation. It's, it's terrible. So, <laughs> I am so sorry for that person. Like, I just <laughs> kept quiet. I did not say <laughs> anything. So the ladies were, where are you going to exactly? <laughs> <laughs> she said, like, just drive. Just, yeah. just, just, don't I just drive. Just drive. Drive to where? <laughs> where you they go? <laughs> and this is like 4 a.m., 5 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> Because I don't know how else to laugh right now. So, you know, the, you know the funniest part? Why she like, just drive? Because I was the one sitting beside her at the back. So in my mind, I was like, okay, maybe she wanted to book a cab. She, I looked at her phone, she was on Snapchat. She had no worries. And I asked her, I said, do you want to book a cab? She's like, um, don't worry, let's just be going. She now opened, she now opened app for cab, but she was not pressing anything. So in my head, I'm like, so I just kept quiet all through. What's going on here? We don't drop our guy, did you know? Uh, because... And I know you to be a nice guy. So I'm just well, quiet. I no, 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 no. You know. I don't know, I'm tired. I just, so my jail lock up, oh. I just kept quiet. I said, no One way. word we did not hear. Say anything. <laughs> so where were you now going to? Oh, yeah. Finally, she said, okay, okay, let me drop here, let me drop here, I'll order. She oh, she's not asking, no, she started asking me. She's like, that's when I said, no, you are cool. She's not started saying, um, so I'm going to go, um, I'm going to call my friend, um, Jai. Do you know Jai? <laughs> Remember, I'm like, do I know you? Jai is from Putsi. I'm like, do I know you? I'm like, she said, oh, you don't know the person? Oh, yeah, that's fine, that's okay. <laughs> I was like, this. <laughs> like. So please. We finally dropped her. Mm. She now said, oh, that my house is close by. You can drop me. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Thank God Japan was not driving. Thank God I was not driving because. Because it was being bought driving. I was like, yeah. it was a good thing. So please, have a plan. Mm. Have a plan. Don't be jumping around. You don't know where we are How going come to. You need some <laughs> <laughs> I just remembered, though. I just remembered. So please, know your limits. Know your plan. Nobody's responsible for you but I yourself. Beg. Please. <laughs> I beg. Before they go carry you, they go. <laughs> what? Yeah. This is such an embarrassment. Only people would have fought. Hmm? No. We've not I'll just, giving I'll you the food gist now. I was say, Coco, give me. I, I... <laughs> God, it was bad, Chad. What? But yeah, all right. So <laughs> hopefully, you've been able to learn some things today. Thank what? you very much. Don't make yourself a nuisance <laughs> while you're outside. This Thank you very much, and God bless. Like what? <laughs> yes. All right, getting right to it. It is time for a quick recap of the entertainment news. And we told you that Omo Mi Dada is engaged. So if she enter your eyes, close them. Close it. Yes. Yeah, so Lupita Nyong'o shows off our man too. So you don't know the man, no. Mind your business. <laughs> Why one water. was covering the face, the other well, was then, well, yes, okay. I mean. Um, So, uh, we also told you that um, Honeypot's boo, Nikanon, talks celebrating wow. Christmas with his kids. How did I enter this juice? Some Honey way, Kano. somehow. <laughs> All right, guys, we will be back to talk about the Nollywood movies and series that caught our attention this year after this time out. Thank you so much for staying here with us. Now, this year, 2022, has been an amazing one for the entertainment industry in Nigeria and Nollywood filmmakers. You know, stepped up their game big time. We saw a lot of action and streaming giants such as Netflix, Amazon, and the likes fighting to take a stand in the Nigerian movie industry, working hard to create original and diverse stories with Nigerian filmmakers. We cannot wait to see all the projects that will be released next year. But right now, joining us on the show today to do the yearly recap for Nollywood movie series that's caught our attention, we have TV personality, mm -hmm. actor, mm -hmm. singer-songwriter, model, 
influencer, and all-round creative. Ladies and gentlemen. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Ladies and gentlemen. Whoop, whoop. Make welcome mm. the Jeez. one and only. Jeez. Jeez. Summer Southern Building. Senior Summer. He's yes. very senior. My boy. How, 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 how are you doing? I'm okay. I don't know. Okay. Last time I saw you in class, you were. Yes, sir. 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 You're great. You're yeah, great. I'm growing now, sir. <laughs> <laughs> no, Big Brother people are annoying me. Wow. What? Uh, <laughs> what? Um, um, welcome to the show, sir. Thank you very much. All right. Well, we're not going to waste any time. And in no particular order, let's talk about Blood Sisters, okay? Now, this is a 2022 Nigerian thriller uh, series directed by B. Bandele and Kenneth Yang that tells the story of Sarah, a young woman who's set to marry a physically abusive man. Despite our best friend Kemi's objection, she goes ahead with the wedding, which leads uh, to a series of unfortunate events. In its first week of release, it was watched for over 11 million hours. It was also top 10 rated in over 30 countries, helping it gain global acclaim. Actors include Ramsey Noir, Kate Enshaw, Nancy Sime, uh, you know, Kendi Bankoli, Initima Okochi, uh, a lot of them, Gabriel Afalayo, Demi Okolao, Daniel Etim Efiong, Uche Jumbo, and others. All right, now, guys. First, I'd like to thank you for raising the most beautiful woman I have ever seen. and for allowing me marry her. That's mm. Thank you, Kola. Thank you. Thank you for standing by me all these years. If no be you, eh? Half of the things I don't accomplish with this never for no fit. Do not. Alrighty, so there you have it, Blast Sisters. Soma, what exactly are your thoughts on this particular one? Um, personally, I love the movie. Mm. Um, the plot was great. The cinematography was great and the acting was on point. Even if I feel like there are some few loopholes, but it's it's not Hollywood that we're growing, you know. So it was a madass movie, hmm. actually. The whole the fact the storyline was just out of like I wasn't expecting it to be that great, mm -hmm. actually. The storyline was was mad, you know, killing the guy, you know. It was self-defense anyways. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Trying to decapitate him first. I was like, ah, <laughs> so they don't they think like this for the <laughs> You know, they tried to cut his head off, cut yeah, his head yeah. off, yeah. chop it up and all that, and decided to bury him. You know, the whole... And I think the location as well, like even yes. going to Makoko. Yes. Shoots. And the actual scenes were good. Very yeah. good. You know, Raps, you know how, like, you know, uh, that was the first time I'm, I'm seeing... A Nigerian he he actor, like like a serial not, killer, I, like not say a word, but like it was, you it, it was just oh, I, it, um, that reminds me of um, the other guy in King of Boys mm -hmm. he, that wasn't speaking, but this oh, was our a, our bodyguard. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's but, right. But I feel like this was like a you know a, a notch yeah higher, higher than that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was good. It was yeah. really over good. ten. What would you rate it? Over ten. What would I rate it? I'll I'll give it a solid seven point five. I just like the fact that DME has mastered the act of dying in movies. Oh, wow. <laughs> He's dying on command. Once you just say, DME, we need to die now. You <laughs> <laughs> don't do. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. We are going to be talking about more movies. And the second one right here is Anikula Kuo. Now, this is a 2022 Nigerian epic fantasy film produced by Kunle Afalayo and distributed by Netflix. A one-of-a-kind mystical folklore drama revolving around the life of Saru, a young, zealous man seeking for greener pastures in the great Oyo kingdom. However, unfolding events and his illicit affair with the king's wife, Arolake, leads to his untimely death an encounter with Akala, a mystical bird believed to give and take life to give him another chance. Now, this movie created characters whose stories, actions, and images will become part of Nigeria's pop culture. Actors include Bimbo Ademoye, Kunle Remi, Hakim Kai Kazim, Eiemi Afolayo, Moji Afolayo, Shola Shobowale, Taiwo Hazan, Inka Kodri, Aisha Lawal, and others. Oh, 
Kwa mwambi ni itajua nse wale wadimu. Shumba. So I particularly love this one, um, especially because I watched it in Yoruba. Because yeah. people were saying, oh, you know what you're hearing in Yoruba. So mm -hmm. I was reading subtitles, mm -hmm. but then it was that good for mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. What did you think about it? Um, I, I feel like I could watch that movie without the audio and still enjoy it. Mm. It's that good. <laughs> yeah, like the whole storyline was, was great. The cinematography was great. The locations they used, they had enough extras. It was not those kind of movies that you have scanty extras, like, oh, only mm -hmm. seven people in. That's eat. right. And, you That's know, right. They, they put in work, they mm -hmm. put in work into the production. Even the stars it. being extras yes. in a way. Exactly. And it was still good. But yeah, what blew my mind about this was the production itself. They yeah. built a whole, built village, the whole village for it. You know, everything was intentional. Um, the hut, everything was built from scratch. Yeah. That's the first of its kind mm -hmm. in Nigeria. So, um, exciting times for Nigeria. We really were yeah. hoping that, that this was, was going to be nominated, to be nominated for, yeah. for the yeah. apparently. Um, How would you rate it? I'd rate, I'd rate it. I'll give it a, I'll give it a nine. Nine? Yeah. Well, okay. Nine? <laughs> Why? Because first off, my Yoruba is not so good, but mm. I sat to it's watch. It's not that good movie. at all, sir. <laughs> it's, it's not, I, I, Let's yeah, be clear. We're on I, the same I, level. I, okay. I'm better so, than you. Oh. I'm better. Come on now. Okay. Yeah, but so be, because it was a Yoruba movie and I don't understand Yoruba very well, but I still sat to watch it and it caught my attention. Like it held me on my seat. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I give it a nine. Nine over ten. I would agree. Oh, wow. That's good. All right, <laughs> moving on. Let's talk about King of Thieves, Ageshi Kole. This is a 2022 Nigerian thriller film produced by Femi Adebayo and directed by Tokwe Adebayo and Adebayo Tijani. It is a story of a famous town and actually prosperous kingdom of Ajeromi. Things were going as good as they should be in the Ajeromi kingdom until Ageshikole, a powerful bandit, uh, and also the terrorists came to terrorize the peaceful and prosperous kingdom of Ajeromi. The Ajeromi kingdom, however, sought to destroy this Ageshikole bandit with just every power within them, including their hunters, witches, wizards, and every power they possess. Kota, I'm a Juamo Yoni. I'm the Kibo who went to the Nobu. I'm just feeling that you have it. That's amazing a, movie. That's a good movie. Amazing movie. I'm not even like, like so this is one movie that I thought brought the actors out. Like the acting was amazing. Um, there was a point on the mountain where they were having a dialogue between um, uh, Odunlade and Femi Adibayo. They were having a dialogue, the king and the thief. And it was so real. It gripped me. The acting was amazing. The cast were amazing. The incantations, mm, the Yoruba yeah. incantations mm, yes, were so real. good. Bro, are they fair to talk out? <laughs> no, everybody brought uh, on their A game, yeah. I must say. Yeah. But what exactly do you think about Ageshi Kole? I think it's a great movie. Um, in all ramifications, it's a great movie. But then I, I, I have a few, you know, I feel like when we're about to do, especially in Hollywood, if you're about to do VFX effects, we should do them well. They were good VFX effects, actually, but then some, some parts of it, I didn't really feel it. But apart from that, I think the movie was great. The acting was great. The set was mad. Everything was on point. All right. So I would say that this one for me was a very great one or it's a very great movie. And I mm. think if people have not seen because I think that the hype is not even enough. Yep. Like I think the PR did not even do yeah. Yeah. much true. about it. Very because true. see, they were talking about other movies that came out uh, you know, mm -hmm. during that yeah. period. But this, ex this particular one, I feel like if they had nominated, like it should have been nominated for yeah. us. Because yeah. number one, they were talking, they were speaking in the, in the mother guy. tongue. Mm -hmm. I mean, that is what they actually encouraged. Mm -hmm. And everybody brought in their a game. And I'm talking about Tony Aimaku talking about um you know latif yeah. uh you know Adonis. all of them all of them and yeah. again you know it started from a story with chaguarinze showing somebody something <laughs> and it's fiction and, it and ended with you know and then it ended like that it yeah. was it grabs my attention from beginning to end and i think if ever anybody I, I, is there that has not seen this they should actually yeah. stop talk, I, I talk to me major, directly I mean, I don't go through the no, corners i think a major reason why a lot of people didn't see it was also the streaming platform that it was on, was on. a lot of people have not yet subscribed to the streaming yes. platform they're still you know, on because Netflix. You know that there is Netflix and yeah, there is Amazon yeah, and there is, yeah, so yeah. yeah. yeah.
But it's one of those movies that everybody was upset about that, you know, it was side by side with Anikola Kwa and it should have been nominated. Yeah, At least yeah. a movie should have been nominated for the Oscars because this year was a great year for Nigerian movies, you know, and this was one of the movies that stood out. Yes, and you know, again, that, you know, there was the debate when, mm -hmm. you know, they were supposed to actually nominate some movies for Oscars and mm -hmm. then we're talking about this particular one that is Agashikole, the uh, King of Thieves, King of Anikola Kwa, and also, uh, you know, Elisha Oba. And, um, you know, what, what are your thoughts? Because we actually talked about it. Which here. one do you think should Which have one been, do you think should have have been nominated? Elisha, okay, so I haven't seen uh, Elisha about the King's Husband yet. Yeah? Yeah. I haven't seen that. But it looks like a good movie from the previews I've seen and, uh, you know, it looks like a good movie. I think... Okay, we'll, we'll just wait for you to see it. Yeah. Yes, and I'll ask back. you again we'll the next time I run. <laughs> we'll repeat this, this, this edition. So, I mean, if if you have not seen it, you would not be able to rate it. Okay, so I think someone we'll should see it, it Tabi. Yes, All right. we should, actually. We should see so, J-Paul. Have you seen Grill? Yeah, I've seen Grill. Have you seen Grill? Have you seen Grill? No, I haven't. All right, oh, so how will you rate wow. it, J-Paul? How will I rate King it? Of King of Thieves. King of Thieves, um, definitely 8.5 over 10. All right, 8. if 5. you can give Anikola 9 over 10, mm. then I would give it a 9 over 10, and it will just be that effect that mm. you It's just the effect. It's just the extra effect. That's not what it is. Just a one. It's I'm perfect. telling you. It's it's perfect. Perfect. I mean, carry go. <laughs> Wahala! All right, of course, we brought our amazing, amazing movies this year, and of course, one of them was Man of God. Now, Man of God is a 2022 Nigerian film produced by Bolanli Austin Peters and the story casts a balanced light on the struggles in the Christian faith, especially as a clergy and a child of a clergy. Samuel forsakes his harsh religious upbringing to live by his own life, but his own soul remains caught between the world and the faith he left behind. Let the aeroplane of my enemy one day I will leave his house and I'll never return. Maybe finish work so the boss now. Right, man of God. So, man of I wouldn't God. even lie. I know there's been there was a lot of hype around this movie. Yeah. Um, yes, and it's um Balanli Austin Peters Balanli production Austin and she made yeah. a cameo appearance uh, yeah. in it. Yeah. yeah, and um yeah, people said that uh, it's actually somebody's story because there was a particular pastor mm. that there was this brouhaha yeah. and people were insinuating yeah. that you know it is uh, about it. Yeah. But what did you think about it and about the actors too? Oh, I think the acting was good and the actors were good. Um, I'm, I'm a big fan of. I'm a big fan of. Um, Wallanley Austin Peters, maybe. Yeah. yeah, of course I am. But like I'm talking, I'm Akani. I'm a big fan of Akani. I loved his acting here. Okay. I think he he really delivered. Okay. And this is the first movie I I I'd seen Mauli in, and he didn't take his shirt off. Oh, <laughs> and don't forget, wow. don't forget that he had to uh, um, perform yeah. the fella thingy mm -hmm. that is Aka. Why, yeah. why, why did I imagine that Suma would have played a better? Wow. As a man of God, I believe. <laughs> I tell you. <laughs> wow. Uh, because there was a lot of hype share. And you know, Twitter now, Twitter will always. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, people yeah. on Twitter Loving will always just have their own things to say. And uh, there is no how. Because here we'll be talking about how we're not going to be paying attention to reviews before we watch yeah. movies. Mm -hmm. Because well, it actually distorts your judgment true, at the end of the true, day. True. Uh, but then, yeah. how would you rate it? Uh, I'd rate it. I'd rate it an, an eight. Uh, 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 Are you too generous? I, I think I'm feeling generous right now. Why? Small Akada. Why? Small Akada. My guy did you see my guy DSF did, in it? My, my guy did, did you see DSF in it? DSF, um, ladies and uh, gentlemen, what, what DSF. Did you think what do you think about, about acting? acting? This uh, one here is crashing you. You, you know, there's, there's room for improvement. You know? <laughs> this guy did a lecture and we get yeah, big win. Like, you know, it's okay. So, so would you cast <laughs> DSF? Why are you people putting you on the spot like this? We are on the spot. It depends if I'm going to cast her as a DJ or like a, a slay queen. I, I, uh, <laughs> Ladies um, and gentlemen, so... we're still going to come back to the movies <laughs> that made waves in Hollywood after this break. We'll be right back. All righty. Thank you so much, guys, for staying here with us. We're still talking about movies that really caught our attention in the year 2022. Mm -hmm. And of course, we've got Soma here, who's helping us do justice to talking about it and also rating the movies, right? Okay, Brotherhood is next. This is a 2022 Nigerian crime action thriller produced by Jade Oshiberu, and it is about twin brothers Wali, acted by Fowles, and Aki, acted by Toby Bakri, 
People are orphaned when their parents were killed on New Year's Day on their way home from crossover church service. After years of fighting to survive on the streets of Lagos, the brothers fall on opposite sides of the law with Wally joining the police force and Aki joining a notorious gang of robbers. The bonds of brotherhood are put to the ultimate test as Wally joins a task force that hurts down Aki and his gang. Nollywood got its, you know, fair share of action with this movie as it checked all the boxes for a blockbuster hit. So your twin brother is an ex-convict. I came from the exact same streets. I chose to be a better man. Hello, pa. Down. Big boy stuff. Whoopi. Stand we down now. We have you surrounded. It's as far as being normal <laughs> for me. Um, okay, I feel like um, this is a movie I'd really like to see Soma in. Yes. Yeah, Giving yeah, them Undertaker, you know, you know, a yeah, long coat like this. Soma will wear shirts. My guy even did the film, but you know, Toko. Who was that? Boma. He was just chased. Yeah, he was just chased. He was giving us the chest. No, but um, for this movie, I think it's the perfect movie to announce um, Toby Bakery as an actor, actor. actor. as an action figure. The action <laughs> sequence were good. The film treatment, the color treatment was amazing. They actually blew up a car. In Nollywood, they actually blew up a car. You know, um, even the action sequence on the Todd Millan Bridge, the last sequence where mm -hmm. they were fighting was so good. Um, man, my goodness, to be honest, this is a, it's a major movie. It's a, it is. Like, they, they didn't get anything wrong. Yeah. Fine, there were a few flaws here and there, but it's something that we can over overlook. Files himself was in character. You know, it was just really good. All right, it was so just really good. what exactly are your thoughts? Um, I love the movie. I love the action scenes. It was really well thought out well. Like, the cinematography was good. Um, <clears throat> the DOP did a great job. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fantastic. People have been talking about it, and, you know, uh, I have not even heard any bad review about it. Yep. I have yet to. Um, and I think I would never. Yeah, I mean, because <laughs> basket mouth absolutely... So it's funny how you see somebody, like, on a normal day, we all know how basket mouth is, but then he's serious, he's being such a bad guy, mm -hmm. and all of that. How hard is it to play a role like that when you're somebody that's funny on a normal day? Because you're a new dance, forget this packaging. Yeah, yeah so I am wondering, I mean, I know that you can relate to this. How, how exactly is it easy to play that particular role? It just depends on your level of talent, I guess. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> You know, some people are just naturally born actors. You can just easily switch up and, you know, well, so whatever it takes a, while, a, a lot more for them to switch up. Like DSF? Yeah. I said Wow, that. wow. Why are you dragging her into this? I was just asking. Wow. What was the only one's question? Wow. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so how are you going to rate it? Um, I'd rate it a nine, actually. Nine. Yes, I'll rate it a nine. It's actually good. That's like, that's the best action Nollywood movie I've seen. Yes. And that's on periods. Yeah. Yes. All right, we are still checking out more movies, and our next movie is called Eleshiopa. Yes, The King's yeah. Horseman. Now, this particular one is based on Wale Shoyinka's play, and I actually absolutely love this one. Um, it tells the story of Eleshiopa's real-life experiences during the British colonial rule in 1943. After his king dies, the horseman must sacrifice himself to serve his ruler in the afterlife, but sudden distractions lead to unexpected tragedy. There were several mixed feelings on social media as regards this particular one and uh, let's check it out Some strange custom they have. 
Because the king is dead, some important chief has to commit suicide. You should have kept me informed. I tell Batiku, as she was dictated the war. Osman son, I believe. <laughs> Election or back. All right. Um, Sorry. Uh, uh, let me just say very quickly. I never really thought that that thing actually used to happen. You mean, I'm not your bag. Okay, like that said that king somebody would die, yeah, and then... That is in your What color. was that Abobaku? Abobaku, that is... So that's the... Yes, okay. Abobaku exists. The Abobaku would always be buried alongside the king when the king died. So I like this one because I always used to wonder, so what if the guy in Ajapa when... Uh, no, 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 no. Yes, eh? So it is not how you see it in modern days, you know, because that is a tax. That is your job in this life. That is what you have, you were even born to be. So that is according to them. So you even prepare yourself to go. You look forward to it. So you're brainwashed, basically. Uh, I, I wouldn't yeah. know whether it is, uh, we should use, uh, you know, that okay. to <laughs> qualify uh, what it is. But because they always look forward to it. Okay. I mean, yeah. All right. So this one is based on Walisha Inka's work. And you know that, you know, the people have watched the stage play of Elisha Oba over and over. And then we were really looking forward to, okay, what is this going to look okay. like, you know, in a film? Like, okay, let's see. And we have seen, and people had a lot to say about it. Mm -hmm. Paul, have you seen it, Soma, by the way? Um, I haven't actually seen it. Okay, so we're going to talk about Brimo too, because Brimo was the one who was actually really hyping it, and then I was really looking forward to it. Um, Brimo and, uh, and what's the lady's name? It's Oh, no, 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 no. Shafi the, Bello. Shafi Bello. Bello. Yeah. They, they were the ones that carried the movie for me. To be honest, um, I, I wasn't impressed, you know, by the movie because guess what? This was the movie that was stalling other movies' progress to, what they call it, to the Oscars, and it had not even come out when yes, all the chaos yes, was going yes. on. Mm -hmm. And then they were voting for election, but they voted that they hadn't seen. Yeah, they had. People had not even seen, and then finally came out, and it was underwhelming. It was underwhelming. Production is good. Um, the, okay, so there was complaint. Oh, it's a, it's a, uh, what do you call it? Um, a poetry. It's a theater stuff and all that. Mm -hmm. so stage play. But guess what? Grio came out the next week. Grio was on, uh, came out on, uh, on Netflix, and it was a stage play. A, what yes, do you call yes, it? Yes, a yes, theater. Yes. So there was no based, excuse for it. And I it totally was even agree. better. It was a movie that had been done 2019 or 2020 before yes, this movie. I totally so, agree. Um, I will not lie to you. This was one of the underwhelming movies for me this year. All right. So, uh, Odun Lade and the White Man. I was so confused <laughs> how Odun Lade did not understand English. And <laughs> the white man would seem to understand everything Odin Lade is saying. And they did not understand yeah, their language. Both of them did not understand the languages of, you know, mm -hmm. both of them. I mean, it was, it was, it was, it was... <laughs> I it was begging for answers. I was <laughs> and then Odun Lade, as much as I like Odun Lade, I think he overacted. Like I'm, I don't yes. know whether there is anything. Mm. You see, I, I didn't I didn't mention his name because somehow you wanted to say something. Um I, I was I said I was saying this telepathy now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey, hey, X-Men. Because that is it for me. Because as it, uh, I'm so glad that you mentioned Grew because Grew has been a stage play and then it went on, uh, you know, being made we into a movie. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they, they killed it, even though they're not, they're okay, not uh, you know, popular people like one, that. I think the reason why there was so much rancor or so much attention on this movie, election, but even before it came out, I think it's just because of the sentimental value placed on it because B. Bandili, who was the director, oh, yeah, he passed. 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 Yes, you know, he even passed, before the yeah. movie came. So I yeah. think that's why. But aside that... And he had gone to festivals. Too. Yes, he had gone to festivals and all that. But aside that, that's all it. All right, so okay. let's just move on. Have we rated it? Um, based on everything, based on everything we've said. But from, from what you, you've it? said, mm -hmm. I'd give it a six point five. So how are you going to rate it, Jepo? Four point five. Whoa! Four All four right. Four oh yeah, wow. Four it's hard. Yeah, people shall woke up, shall. <laughs> that was hard. Okay. <laughs> you rate her, rate her, madam. My producer once said that she's going to rate it two over ten. Oh. Um. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's talk about Glamour Girls, guys. Mm. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is the remake of the classic Nollywood film, Glamour Girls, which focuses on the story of four girls who are desperately trying to make a living to live large in the big city of Lagos. Within this usually patriarchal African community, they all dare to raise a stare with their profession as high-end escorts.
<laughs> Imagine that you're one of the scars. Shiny, luxurious, and fast. You can go so fast, so far, then you can crash. Why? So I know this was definitely one that you watched because I nye, 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 nye. see how excited he was when we said glamour girls. The so, aesthetics in that movie. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I would like to even ask. Lots you. of focus. I would. <laughs> I would like to ask you. Yeah. Do you think they should have bothered with the remake? Um. Okay, so I would say, I feel like it was a bit watered down. Yep. But. The aesthetics. <laughs> are you talking? Are you talking about the beautiful girls? Yes, the aesthetics. Okay, so they are the props for you. Sorry, what? They have the props. Them. Oh, you do. Mm, okay. mm. What was your favorite? Part? What was your favorite part in that movie? Mm -hmm. I had so many favorite parts. <laughs> <laughs> so many, so many. No, I, I love the movie. I actually love the movie. Um, I love the acting. But you just said they shouldn't have bothered. It was worth no, it. Uh, yeah, it was. Like, like but, comparing it but, to com the original. There are some Gen Z kids that haven't seen the original movie now. Oh. And they would mm. see this and they were like, oh, wow, this is mad. Mm. So I'm looking at them with the eyes of a Gen Z. Because, you know, <laughs> I'm a Gen Z now. Hmm? Yeah, not just 1999, serious. is it? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. 1999, <laughs> no. Hmm? <laughs> All right, so I'll go back because I'll go back to check the age you left for Big Brother. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll check, I'll check. So, Trust uh, me. So I feel like they were more um, focused on the faces, the fine faces they wanted to bring into the movie yeah. rather than the story itself. Mm -hmm. Because at some point, scenes, scenes yeah. were just, you know, I, like, I had to start joining story in my yeah. head. So yeah. there's some scenes I felt were not necessary. Some scenes they were just being too long and all that. But, yeah, so, yeah, great some scenes they add up, actually. Yeah. Yeah. All right, please rate it. Uh, I'd rate it. Don't rate aesthetics, rate the movie. <laughs> Let's be clear. I'd, I'd, give, it a, I'd huh? give it a seven. Okay. A seven? Yes. <laughs> Are you too generous? I feel like it's it's a good movie. It's the like, aesthetics. Aesthetics <laughs> wise and then, you know, cinematography <laughs> is not bad at all, so you know. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. That is all we can take for our recap of the movies that were hot and popping this 2022. But before we go, let's find out the summer apex for the people who do not know. Yeah, what are you right. working on and what are you up to? Um well um I've been working with a lot of brands uh, recently, you know, I've been doing a lot of creative work and freelancing. But also I've been um, casted for some, for some good movies. I have a Netflix movie that's m most likely going to come out next year. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm also trying to uh, working on my EP because I've been off the music scene for a bit. So I'm trying to get back on that. All right. All right. Yeah. Thank, Thank you so, so much. Yes, yes, yes. That is it on our Nollywood movie series recap for the year. What are you watching is coming up after this break. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the show. And right now it's time for what are you watching? And guess what? We're going to be taking all the uh, what the people what the people are saying, what the people mm -hmm. are watching because it's the festive season. We know you're watching lots of movies, lots of amazing movies are out there, Christmas movies especially. Let's get and, right uh, into it. We're going right into social media <laughs> to take what are you watching right now. Um, on Twitter. Oh, Jovia Jo says, what's up, guys? Compliments of the season. I'm currently watching Strange World Star. Uh, it says, uh, Gillian, Gillian Jake, Jabu Young, Gabriel Union, plot a legendary clads. Legendary clads are a family of explorers whose different topples, whose differences topples their latest and crucial mission. I will rate it 8 over 10. Um, Ahmed Ogundoi, Ogundoi, <laughs> I thought my rebel was bad. It says Young <laughs> Sheldon. Uh, Bosu says des Designated Survival. Oh, I've um, seen that one. Osho Ife Bolaji says Movie K. Now work I did so with no dead job for my fraud. Yeah. Uh, Sammy says Ilu Awon Eshu. Your rebel movie. Uh, he didn't tell us what it's about. Um, Hazrit says, Sakba Day for Ninja, Hollywood <laughs> movie. Sakba Day for Ninja. Is it can be like a Hollywood that? movie. Okay, Daniel Ovikiti says, Alice in Borderlands. Oh, yes, yeah. yes, that's about it here. All right, so on Facebook, we have Maria Omo Kikwe, who says, I watch Ijakumo. Um, you just said Ijakumo. You have come again. <laughs> you have come again. All right, so Ijakumo is doing Abraham's work. 
Um, Hakmad Shwahibu here says, Hi, it's Splash Gang. I'm currently watching Far From Home, a Nollywood movie, and I rate it a 10 over 10. Sixos Egbo here says, Merry Christmas and compliments of the season, the gang. Now, you did not tell us any movies here. Uh, Hannah Omoko Ajayi here says, Far From Home, 15 over 10. <laughs> 10 over 10, you went 15 over yeah, 10. I did that one. All right. I did to Nick here says, I'm currently watching Wednesday and I rate it 10 over 10. I love the fact that Wednesday Adams didn't allow the students to define her or sh how she lived her life, especially Bianca, who thinks she is better than anyone. It is really a good movie. Olami Degbenga says, Oloko, uh, Olami Degbenga says, Abejoye season six. All right. So I'll just leave it there. All right, so I have uh, Timmy Lang O'Day say, Hi, good afternoon, and Merry Christmas in Arias. I'm currently watching Blood Sisters, and 90% of Splash viewers already know it, so I would rate 9 over 10 as long as they release a final episode because I need to see who that girl killed. One, thi one more thing, I'm not currently watching you guys right now because my clown of an elder sister wants to watch a Korean movie. <laughs> wow. Wow. I'm so sorry about that, and Timmy Lang. Her. <laughs> oh, wow. Like a small gen. All right, this one shocked me. Um... <laughs> This person's name is Dallas Crush. <laughs> you open a Facebook page with Dallas Crush as your... Maru. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> Zed, I'm currently watching Never Have I Ever. This is coming of a coming-of-age teen comedy drama that tells the story of an Indian girl named Devi Vishwakumar journeying with her through the most berating years of her life, high school. Throughout the 10 episodes, fans are introduced to Devi and her traditional Indian family, as well as her friends. The main character is Devi. I sure hope I spelled that name right. I would give the movie a 9.5. Yeah, it's that good. Peace out. You're looking great, by the way, especially you, Dala. Thank Aww. you. Thank you, Dala's crush. Uh, be before, Dala's oh, crush. <laughs> As in, the, fact, the person opened that. Yes. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank Aww. you for hanging out with us today on the show. This is the time that we don't always like to come to, but we have to go. <laughs> but we want you guys to stay safe out there. Drink responsibly. responsibly. You know, have a plan when you're going out. I don't out. get nuisance to yes. other people. I had on the show the beautiful, the one, the only, Honey Flames. Honey Cannon. Honey Cannon. <laughs> and I had the beautiful, amazing Dala in the building. Can I look back? And just before, we had Soma in the building as well. And uh, we're saying <laughs> goodbye. Have a beautiful day ahead. <laughs>